farmers and consumers alike, Kenya's biggest miller is opening its factory. And Mumia's Sugar Company says that it's ready to bridge the production deficit that has seen the cost of sugar hit 125 shillings per kilo over the festive season. Here's Adelaide Changole with more on that story. The price of sugar could fall from tomorrow as the country's largest sugar miller restarts production following a two-month-long hiatus. Uh, going into this weekend, we should be back to full throttle uh, in terms of crushing cane and producing uh, all the products that we produce, that is uh, sugar, um, ethanol, uh, as well as generating electricity. The miller closed its doors two months ago, along with Western Kenya and Kibos, to undertake what it called routine annual maintenance. However, this created a sugar shortage, which forced consumers to pay between 115 and 125 shillings for a kilo of sugar. And although West Kenya and Kibos have since restarted cane production, they could not bridge the gap. But Mumias insists things will improve once it restarts production. We get into, into production that deficit should be addressed substantively. The management says the maintenance exercise, which cost the farm 1.5 billion shillings, was part of efforts to put Mumias back on the recovery path after recording a 2.7 billion shillings loss this year. And they're optimistic about the results. The test run of the factory on Tuesday last week and the results of that test run were, were positive. The factory is in good shape. All the equipment is uh, uh, ready to fire. Uh, and all our distributors have been alerted to start expecting uh, deliveries of sugar and all the other products uh, going into Sunday, Monday, uh, next week. The announcement comes amid rumors that what the farm called routine annual maintenance was a front to camouflage the collapse of the troubled sugar miller that has reported consecutive full year losses for the last eight years and cost shareholders a staggering 72 billion shillings over the period. According to some workers and investors, the long downtime was proof that the farm had been put under receivership. But the management has rubbished these claims. We want to dispel a lot of the information that has been disseminated out there that we are closing that we are not reopening, that we are going into receivership. All that information, I think, has been informed uh, by uh, probably people who do not have an interest uh, in the operations of Mumia's uh, sugar company. So just to confirm that we are ready to restart and uh, going into Saturday and Sunday, we will be operating uh, full throttle. The news comes just days after the miller's credit rating was downgraded for the third consecutive time since 2012, reflecting the farm's worsening financial position. Global credit ratings are farm licensed by the Capital Markets Authority to evaluate the financial strength of listed companies downgraded the troubled sugar miller's long-term credit rating to triple B one year after it had downgraded it from A plus to A, indicating uncertainty over the miller's ability to service its debts. Mumias has been struggling to service its massive debts, forcing it to sit down with seven banks to restructure its loans as it seeks to ease the repayment burden. Mumias is the largest shoe producer in Kenya, accounting for 28% of domestic production. Adelaide Changole, KTN.